so in this autocad lecture we are going to cover modify commands from this modify toolbar so in this we have already seen the erase command first command we have already seen now we will see what is this copy command suppose we have sub some object with us suppose i want to copy this circle at the end of this line so i will say copy then is asking me select object which i want to copy so i want to copy this circle so i will select the circle and once all the object has been selected then you have to press the enter then he is asking me specify base point what is the reference point suppose i want the center point i will take this center point as a reference point so with respect to that center point it will copy the object so he is asking me specify second point where i want to keep that center of the circle so i want to put it at the end of this line or suppose i want to put it at the mid of this line or end of this line or i can also copy it at some distance from this current position suppose i want to copy it at 10 distance so i can give that distance directly i have also made the orthon therefore the line is straight and once you given the distance then you have to press the enter so it will co copy the object at a specified distance to come out you have to press enter so in this way you can use the copy command after copy next command is mirror so suppose some object is there so this object is there i want to mirror create a mirror of this object so i will say mirror then is asking me select object which i want to mirror then enter then specify first point of mirror line so in the middle mirror line will be there so i will take this end point as a first point and this second end point as a second point so he is asking me erase source object right now i will say no so n is by there by default so i will just press the enter so it has created the mirror image around that line suppose again i will take mirror select object enter then first point of mirror line i will define it here second point here then he is asking me erase source object suppose if i give yes y and i will press enter so it will erase the source object and it will keep the mirror image only so in this way you can use the mirror command offset we have already seen next is array command so suppose uh, there are this circle is there this circle i want to array so i will say array now here yeah, there are two type of array rectangular array that means you can give number of column rows and number of columns and other is polar array in the circular format you can make the array suppose i say rectangular array then i have to select the object which i want to array suppose i want to array, array this circle then press enter then is asking me number of rows suppose four are the rows number of column are six then you have to give row offset what is the gap between two rows suppose gap is 2 then is asking me column offset what is the gap between two columns suppose column offset is 3 then i can see the preview here how it will look like so here four rows are created and six column two is the gap between row three is the gap between column so if this array is uh, all right then you can just right click if you want to make the changes to the setting of the array then you have to press the first mouse button here you can make the changes again here also you can define the angle of the array with respect to x x will be 0 so you suppose i want to array in a 45 degree so uh, it will be arrayed in 45 degree i can see the preview by pressing on preview so in this way in some angle particular angle you can do the array suppose i want to array it in 0 degree then uh, by default actually rows come uh, this dark object is our selected object and by default rows come on the upper side and columns come on the right side suppose if i want the rows on the down side then i have to make the row offset as a minus then uh, the rows will come down if i want the column to be on the left side then i have to make the column offset minus then that columns will come on the left side so in this way by giving the unit you can control the direction of the array so in this way you can create the rectangular array same way we will see the polar array what happens suppose i will create a sample object that i want to array by polar command polar option so this object i want to array so i will say array then i have to select here polar array then select object so i will select this circle and line 
then enter or right click then his uh, then i have to define the center point around which point i want to array so you have to click on this tick center point then click the center point around this center point i want to make the array then give how many objects you want how many number of items suppose eight angle to fill is 360 degree so i will see the preview so in this way it has added the component then you can come back by pressing the first mode button suppose i want to fill uh, in only half circle so i will give angle to fill as 180 degree so it will fill in the half circle only but suppose i want this array to be on the upper side then i have to give minus angle to fill will become minus so it the direction of array will change so it will come on the upper side so in this way you can control the direction then there is one more option is there rotate items as copied if i remove the tick of this uh, rotated item as copied then it will keep the object as it is it will not rotate it and if i uh, apply the tick then it will rotate the components so in this way you can use the array command then next command is move command so if you want to shift one object from one position to other position suppose i want to move this object from this position to this position so i will say move then is asking select object so i will select this both object then enter then is asking me specify base point so i will say end point uh, i will take this end point of this line as a base point i will say f8 to make it ortho off then is asking me specify second point so i want to place it at the end of this line so it that object will be moved from here to there <coughs> so in this way you can use move command then next command is rotate if you want to rotate suppose i want to rotate all these objects i have selected the rotate command i have given rotate command selected all the object then i will press enter then is asking me base point around which point i want to rotate suppose i want to rotate around center point then is asking me specify rotation angle suppose my rotation angle is 30 degree so it has been rotated into 30 degree so in this way you can use the rotate command then next command is a stretch command suppose i have some object here so i have created this object of edge length is 1 everywhere edge length is 1 but in this for this two lines i want the edge length to be 2 so i can uh, make the modification using stretch command so i will say stretch then is asking me select object so i will select the object then enter then give the base point then give the direction where you want to go and give the distance by how much distance you want to move there that you can say there suppose again i will just try stretch select object enter then base point then give the direction and give the distance how much distance by one distance i want to stretch and press enter so this distance has become 2 but for stretch command there are some conditions are there so it is say, saying select object to stretch by crossing window so what is this crossing window when you click on the right side and comes to the left side the green dotted line is called as a crossing window and this is called as a normal window so for stretch command a crossing window is a must again those object which are to be moved should come completely inside the this rectangle green rectangle and the object for which the length to be changed that means the, the object those you want to stretch those object should be half selected it should not be completely selected so in this way you can define this object then say enter then give the base point then give the direction where you want to go and give the distance by how much distance one distance so in this way you can use the stretch command after stretch next command trim we have already seen then next is extend so you can extend some object suppose i want to extend this line up to this line so i will say extend then asking me select boundary edges up to what i want to extend so i want to extend up to this line so i will select that line then uh, enter then asking me select object to extend which object uh, this object i want to extend so this object will be extended uh, up to that selected line so by right clicking you can come out or by pressing enter also you can come out so in this way you can extend the object then next is bracket point suppose i want to break this line uh, at the midpoint so is asking me select object so i will select object 
then asking me specify first breakpoint. So I want to break at midpoint. So this line has been divided into two objects. So same way I can break this line also. I will uh, uh, in this way you can use this command to break in single point. And if you want to break in two points, then you have to use this command. Next command. So here select object. So where you wherever you select that will define the first point. And uh, then is asking me second breakpoint. So between those two points, the object will be broken. So in this way, you can use the break command. After break, there is uh, next command is join. So you can uh, whatever uh, join is basically opposite to break. So I will say joined. Suppose I want to join these two line and convert into a single line. So I will select those both of line, press enter. Then that line will be converted into a single line. Same way I can join these object also joined. I will say joined. Then I will select all the three objects then enter so that line will be joined for this the line should be in a collinear then only it will be joined if there is some offset it, uh, those lines will not be joined then next command is chamfer if you want to put some chamfer at the corner you can use this command say chamfer then you have to define the distance so just right click and say distance and give the distance suppose i want point for you by point for your chamfer then he is asking me select first line select second line so between those two lines this point for you point for you chamfer has been created so same way you can use the fillet command say fillet right click give radius so it will create the fillet radius so fillet radius is point for you then is asking me select first object select second object so fillet of point for you has been created so in this way you can use this fillet chamfer command so in this way we have completed most of the command in modify toolbar thanks for joining